My name is Patrick Moore and this competition is a very exciting project. Now, why should students take part in this in the space competition? Well, they are the children of today. They are the scientists and the space researchers of tomorrow. The UK Space Design Competition is open to secondary schools. Every year it welcomes around 165 students from 20 schools to Imperial College London for a weekend during which they will be asked to design a space settlement in our solar system. When I heard that this competition was going to be mostly about space engineering and um, astrophysics, I thought this would be a good idea of a way to put what I've learnt into some sort of practice. The main aim of the competition is to provide students with an opportunity to take part in a design simulation that exposes them to the joys and challenges of working in a large industrial team. I thought it was a fantastic opportunity just to see how we can work in industry and then also be our age and do this amazing competition at the same time. I saw that as an opportunity I, had to, I couldn't miss. Having arrived at the college, the school teams are divided into four different simulated companies. You get put in your teams, you meet people you don't know, you meet experts in their field and then the hard work starts and you have many hours of working in a very large group. Structures, structures over here, here. Um, ops over there. Yeah. Uh, Each company will be made up from approximately 40 students from different schools. This means that students get to work with other people from a wide variety of locations and backgrounds. The people you meet there are fantastic because they're there for the same reason as you and they share a huge number of your interests. Um, so you're almost guaranteed to get along, really. On Saturday morning, before beginning work, students within each company choose a president and organise themselves into the necessary departments. Then attend a dedicated briefing session with professional engineers and managers where they will learn about their special task within the company. They then have 20 hours to design a space settlement which has different parameters each year. They will take into account all important factors ranging from structural engineering, we're trying to work out whether the, the curvature of the structure is going to affect our body and boring. And communications to entertainment, food production, construction timelines and costing. They'll collect the electricity and then the primary and then these will be the phone. This is basically really, really big. And it is intense but very satisfying when you're at the end of it because it's like a journey. It's stressful but fun. It's worth it. I'll do it all over again. While each company has an adult chief executive officer in charge, the designs, structuring and running of the company are the students' own work. What the design competition does is it presents them with a huge challenge, much bigger than they usually get in schools. And, and we have come to the conclusion through this design competition experience, that we learned too, that they really don't get their mentalities exercised as much as they have the capacity to get exercised. There are several students that have been in the competition who have said, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but now I'm going to go to Imperial College, I'm going to be a scientist, I'm going to be an engineer. I would say that it was one of the most important things that's happened to me. Um, and it's, it's certainly the reason that I've chosen um, to do aeronautical engineering. During the rest of the day and night, the companies will work on their proposals in order to have them ready by Sunday morning. It's just started coming together now slowly. We've got, we're beginning to get the details from everyone else. So now we're starting to put it all together into you know, one big, happy, expensive document. The experience, I say, is very sleepless. It was a very long, arduous process. Mm. Yeah, very long night. We haven't, we haven't sat at all. Very tiring, but enjoyable weekend. Final designs are presented in the form of a PowerPoint presentation to all companies and a panel of expert judges. Does that mean that people in the domes are exposed to the, rate, the solar flares from the sun? After much deliberation and some quite intensive questioning, they will select the winning company and announce the result. So basically you're saying that we're the customer judging the RFQ, and which one are we going to buy? Yeah. It was 
so unexpected. The winning company will go on to the international phase of the competition at NASA's Johnson Space Center. At the stage that we were last night, we never thought we would actually get to where we are now. The students themselves decide on the 12 who will best represent the company at the international finals, where they will compete with teams from all around the world to design a more challenging space station. Going to Houston was a great experience. When you go to Houston, you've got language barriers, you've got not only people you've never met, but they're from another country, you've got cultures clashing, and that's a really exciting dynamic to be part of and to see. The science also steps up. But we won, so I guess we must have done something right. It was very, very stressful. You could see everyone kind of breaking down a little bit after a couple of days, but no one, there was no hard feelings afterwards or anything. Everyone got on really well. I think they find it fun. It's not just work then. It's science can be really fun and interesting. Whichever career you wish to pursue, the UK Space Design Competition has something to offer you, and we look forward to seeing you at our next event.